So now you want to learn how to go ahead and start dragging and dropping samples and utilizing some of the VSTs inside of Logic. Keep on watching this video. I like that. I, I really do, I like that. So let's try that again. What's up everybody, Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. What I'm gonna be talking about in this video is how to go ahead and drag and drop some of the samples that Logic may already come with, like some of the free samples that they have, some of the loops, whatever that they may have inside of the software so you can start making beats. But I'm also gonna show you guys how to load up some of the VSTs and some of the instruments and sounds that they already have inside of Logic so you can start producing and playing some music right away, okay? Oh, by the way, in the last video, if you haven't had a chance to go check that out, what I did was basically show you guys how to go ahead and set your session up, how to insert a track, how to start recording the setup with your microphone, your audio interface, and get your input going so you can start recording your tracks, doing voiceovers or whatever you need to do. So be sure to go check that video out if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and jump into it right now. All right, guys, so check this out. This I already have a beat that I've been working on inside of Logic. Let me go ahead and play a little bit of it. Okay, so that's some of the beat, right? So now, guys, what you want to do is when you first go ahead and start to create a new track or a new session or whatever inside of Logic, what you want to do is decide what you want to do first. Do you want to go ahead and drag and drop some of the free samples or the free audio loops that they may have inside of the software? Or do you want to go ahead and use some of the virtual instruments that they have that already comes with the software? I'm going to show you guys both, okay? So if you have a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI controller, what you can do is go up to track. Then you want to go ahead and go down to new software instrument track. So once you do that, it's going to pop up as you can see here, classic electric piano. All right. So I'm going to click on that track. And then if you have your MIDI keyboard plugged into your computer already, whether that be your MacBook or your PC computer or whatever, just make sure that the computer is actually reading it. Okay. One thing that I'm going to recommend that you do, and I should have showed you this in the last video, but just in case is you want to be able to enable all your features, uh, just in case you want to be able to utilize different, uh, quick keys or hot keys or different things that won't normally show up in a regular editor, or you won't be able to utilize, just go ahead and go to advanced. And once you go to advanced, go ahead and click enable complete features. Okay. This says it expands simplified features to include all available features, including the following. And I'll talk more about that in the future because it's going to be able to enable some really cool things that you can do in a mixing and recording phase. So you definitely want to have that enabled. Okay. Once you have your mini keyboard plugged in, your computer should be reading it via USB. Okay. So let's just go ahead and click on that track. And then what we want to do is just hit some keys on your mini keyboard. Okay, so everything's working. All right, let's test it out. You can actually see that record enable is actually enabled as soon as I hit the keys, it automatically did it, okay? And you can actually see that I'm getting signal. All right, so now what you wanna do in the process is if you go ahead and click over here, It'll actually show you where it says e-piano. It'll actually show you which type of plugin that uh, Logic already comes with that gives you tons of sounds or piano sounds, okay? So if you go ahead and click the drop down right here, you can basically change it from whatever you want, okay? So let's just click something else. That's really cool, sounds really good. And then it basically has all these knobs and features on here, this particular plugin that allows you to change the sound of that particular instrument if you want, okay? You can add color, you can add stereo, uh, widener, phaser sounds, EQ, drive, chorus effects, tremolo, uh, bass boosted, turn up the volume. Let's do that, turn up the volume. Nice, right? Okay, so you can hit this button here to go ahead and just choose a different sound. Wow. 
What about another? Okay, so as you can see, you can just pretty much utilize any of those sounds that comes with the software for free, okay? If you purchase Logic uh, with your MacBook Pro or something like that, I believe it's $200 for the software to go ahead and get Logic Pro X, allowing you to record voiceovers, music, um, do sound design, produce music, you name it. You can pretty much do everything in the software, okay? Now, what if you wanted to go ahead and add a different sound? What you wanna do is go ahead and click this particular button right here, right on the edge, the little double arrow down button. You left click it, and then this is gonna give you different options that also comes with Logic, okay? So normally you're gonna see the list of the different things that you can have or utilize inside of the software here from free drum sounds, free piano sounds, sound effects, um, organs, strings, you name it. Pretty much anything that you can think of, Logic is probably gonna have it for free, okay, inside of the software. If you wanna purchase more, then you can go online and purchase more third-party software, plug-in, VSTs, or whatever to go ahead and add to your arsenal. But for right now, if you just pay $200 for Logic, Logic is gonna have everything that you need right here and right now, okay? What you can do is go down to AU Instruments, and then it's just gonna have a lot of the AU sounds that Logic has as well, if you have those particular ones, all right? Another one, what you can do also in the process is just choose like a different sound. Say if you wanted to add like an ultra beat, which is like a drum drum machine that allows you to make beats or whatever the case may be. Let's just go ahead and import that as stereo. All right, so now it's gonna change it. Now check this out. has free sounds with that as well. But if you wanna do more, then you go down to the drop down, left click in factory default, go to drum kits and change it up to whatever you may want, okay? So say if we wanted to go to lo-fi. Now, what you can do in the process is I'm gonna be doing tutorials showing you guys how to go ahead and utilize Ultra Beat. So be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be showing you tutorials on how to utilize this just in case you're confused, okay? But it's really neat because it has pattern mode, step mode, it allows you, even if it picked a particular pattern, you hit this plus button here. You can utilize that so you can create your own pattern and do whatever you wanna do and then what you can do in a process is basically drag that pattern onto your uh, track view to be able to go ahead and record that, okay? So now, let's just try that out. You go here, it says drag to arrange window, okay? So if I wanted to just drag that, that's all I have to do. Turn C off and go back to the beginning. You can cut it off and just play that particular part. Solo or hit S button for solo. Voila, there it is, okay? So you can do that if that's something that you wanna do. Okay, now if I go ahead and delete that and I hit Command Z to go ahead and go back to the pr previous instrument that I had, now I'm back to the electric piano. So now if I wanted to say, if I, I'm gonna hit S for solo and I'm gonna hit C to turn on my cycle, drag this over. Now I'm just gonna record something. So I'm gonna turn this button on here for the metronome. So I can hear that, okay? And then if you wanna count up, you turn on one, two, three, four here for count on, okay? Now check it out. If you wanna know what any quick keys are, just hover your mouse over the particular knob that you wanna click and it'll let you know, okay? As you can see, what it's doing here, ship K. Ship K is gonna turn that on and off, okay? So we want it on and I'm gonna hit R to record and I'm just gonna record a sample.
to quantize that, we're going to hit Q to quantize it. And you can change it from 1 8th, 1 16th, 1 4th, whatever the case may be, okay? And that's how you go ahead and record that sample, okay? So now, or say if you wanted to copy that, all you would have to do is hold down the Option button and drag it over, Control Z or Command Z. And then if you just wanted to expand it out, you can go ahead and stretch it if you wanted to do that as well. If you wanted to add to it. And then also, if you wanted to do like, let's say, loop, then all you would have to do is hit L and it'll loop that for you if that's what you wanted to do, okay? Now, what if you wanted to go ahead and do something like add a different sound, like maybe a lead or a different type of sound in general? You can do that as well. So we can go here and go to synthesizer, okay? change up the knobs, change anything, that's, make it sound the way that you want to sound it. Again, this is free. This automatically comes with Logic. So that is a great thing once you purchase the software. So now let's just go ahead and talk about really quick if you wanted to go ahead and do like some drag and drop samples or anything like that, okay? Okay, so once you click this button here, what you can do in the process is it's going to have like a bunch of loop packs inside of Logic. So instrument, genre, uh, it's going to give you a bunch of information about like the tempo, the key, um, how many bars it is, beats, etc. Everything that you need to know. So say we just wanted to click something. Hey. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag and drop that. And I'm just going to hit solo since it's different from the beat that I'm playing. The good part is is the majority of the time it's gonna try to go ahead and adjust the tempo to whatever your tempo is of the session. If it don't, then you just kind of make whatever necessary changes that you need to make, but there is a positive in it. So let's just go ahead and listen to that. Okay, it's gonna automatically uh, change that to the tempo of the particular session that I have, which is 150 right now. And as you see here, it's going to talk about the different keys that these particular things are in. And then whatever the key or is of your particular session, then it's going to let you know what that is as well, which is a positive. Okay. So let's see something else. Now, what if we try to grab two things that just don't match? So we're going to drag that over too and see how crazy it sounds. I don't think that sounds good at all, right? So 80s beat. Let's try that. I like that. I, I really do. I like that. So let's try that again. Left click and highlight from this point to this point. Four bars and replay that. Nice. So that's what I would do if I want to go ahead and start dragging and dropping some of the samples that they have. Now, you're going to have tons and tons and tons of sounds on Logic, in Logic for free for you guys to go ahead and start messing around with making a beat. Maybe you don't know how to play the piano yet. So you may need to drag and drop some of these loops to start making your music right away. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Whatever it takes to create some good music, do whatever you need to do to be creative, okay? So if you click up here on instrument, then it'll give you like uh, drums, pianos, guitars, 
strings, whatever. Said we wanted to do guitars. <laughs> Drag that over. Okay. So I just want to copy those real quick. You can turn the volume down. You can actually pan it to the right or left by clicking and holding this knob. Going up is to the right, going down is to the left. It's really simple, guys. And like I said, you can just basically change whatever you want to utilize in the process. So if you, if you aren't sure of what instrument or whatever, just play around with whatever you can and try to drag and drop it and see if you like the sound. If you don't, chop some things up, move some things around, and just kind of have fun with it, okay? So we can go back to all packs. You can click here, it'll give you like different groups or whatever of anything that you want to utilize. Go back to instrument, choose whatever group of whatever instrument you may want. If you want a particular scale, go ahead and utilize that by clicking here, as well as signature as well, okay? Genre, if you have a favorite genre, urban, house, electronic, country music, cinematic whatever the case may be it comes with tons of sounds and like i said you click one click whatever you click it again and it'll take it away okay giving you your options back indy I gotta remember that one. I'm gonna make something with that. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Did this tutorial help you guys figure out how to drag and drop loops, samples, and things like that inside of Logic, as well as utilize some of the VST uh, that come inside of Logic to help you guys start producing your own beats. If you are a beginner and this is something that you are wanting to get involved in, then I highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I'm going to be bringing you guys tutorials every single week on Logic as well as other recording softwares. But guys, I want you guys to know that along the way, I'm going to try to teach you as much as I can while I can, okay? Go check out my other videos because I have tons of tutorials on mixing, mastering, recording, you name it. I pretty much do a lot of stuff in a lot of different software from Pro Tools, Logic, uh, FL Studio, gonna be doing some Ableton stuff, you name it. I try to work in all softwares to kind of help you guys learn. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and be sure to go watch my videos. Thank you for watching the video. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.